hello and welcome to my channel in today's video we will take a look at how can we download and install visual studio code and then on top of it how can we install powershell 7.x extensions on top of visual studio code so that we can work with powershell 7 and pnp powershell within the visual studio code itself so let's get started now to download the visual studio code you would head over to code.visualstudio.com slash download depending on the version of your operating system and depending on your operating system you would like to download the specific file so i'm on the windows 11 i'm gonna go ahead and click windows 10 or 11 file and it has started downloading as you can see one download in progress so we'll just come back after the download finishes it is 94 mb at the time of recording all right so the download finished okay so right click open and it will start the installation click on next i agree the instructions I would like to keep the path as is click on next visual studio code yes add to path requires shell restart register code as an editor for supported file types click on next and finally click on install it would start preparing to install started extracting the files and let's wait for this to install completely okay so as you can see now the visual studio code has been installed successfully and it is asking to launch visual studio code if you will try to find it on search you will find visual studio code all right so we want to launch visual studio code click on finish and now it is opening for the very first time now this is a welcome screen for Visual Studio Code. If you go to extensions on the left, we can actually search for a lot of extensions available that you can download and install within Visual Studio Code. As you can see, it has started giving a lot of popular extensions. So let's go ahead and search for PowerShell. And you can see the very first option we need to go ahead and click first let's click on this so that we get to know the details about the powershell let's go ahead and click on install so it has started installing the powershell within the visual studio code let's wait for this to finish and now you can see it has already installed so now powershell 7 is installed in visual studio code we are good to execute the files we're now good to work with PNP PowerShell within the Visual Studio Code. I thank you for watching the video.